Pirelli have an extremely difficult job in the world of Formula 1, creating 7 dry compounds of tyre as well as 2 wet ones that degrade at a perfect rate to create both exciting races and safety for the drivers. Easy right? But how are they created? It's not as simple as making it round and sticky, that's for sure. The home of Pirelli is located in Milan, where a whopping 150 research engineers concentrate solely on Formula 1. The first port of call is the physics and chemistry labs, where they test the new compounds and structures. In Romania, Pirelli have its own dedicated motorsport factory, and another backup factory in Turkey. This is where they take a virtual model of the tyre and turn it into reality, a physical prototype with the compounds produced in their Setimo Torinese plant in Italy. Time to put the tyre through its paces, where the poor tyre will be put through every race condition imaginable and stressed to the absolute limit using sophisticated machines. Once they pass these tests they are sent out to experience a real circuit. The tyres that successfully make it through the vigorous track testing are then eligible to be part of the final selection for an F1 weekend. Let's take a look inside the factory where our good friends Jim and Bob are hard at work. Jim creates the shoulder and the carcass of the tyre, while simultaneously Bob is working on creating the belt and tread pattern. The key ingredients in this process are natural rubber, synthetic rubber and other artificial fibres. Once Jim and Bob have done their job, we move down to Craig who has a key role in production where a Formula 1 tyre is born. What an emotional moment. Not only do humans have passports, but F1 tyres have one in grain too. These contain all the information you could possibly need about the tyre and how much it's been used from birth to race day. Time to get your chef hat on as the next step is the vulcanisation period which cooks the tyre. This seals the barcode in as well as determining the definitive characteristics of the compounds and structure. The final part of the process is a visual check, weight check and an x-ray scan of the tyre. A random sample of tyres are then taken to ensure they're good to go via a destructive test. Once all of this is completed, the tyre is ready to be used in a race or testing session. The competition tyres used in other racing series go through a very similar, if not identical process to be used all over the world. Are you prepared to be absolutely dazzled with information about a Pirelli F1 tyre? Well, strap yourself in tight and get ready because what you're about to witness will blow your mind. The Pirelli F1 tyre has over 100 elements in each tyre with 18 structural components. If you were an expert and wanted to make one for yourself, then it'd take you approximately 5 hours of work. Fancy a little workout? Well, if you want to lift a front wheel and tyre, it'll be around 8.5 kilograms, which is the equivalent of just under 4 laptops. If you're feeling hench, then maybe lift the rear wheel and tyre, which is around 9.5 kilograms, or 7 Golden Retriever puppies. In one solitary Grand Prix, about 1,800 tyres are taken, which is 16,200 kilograms, or 13.5 McLaren Senna's worth, if you're wondering, which you probably weren't. In laboratory testing, the scientists and engineers test the tyre at up to 450 kilometres an hour, which is ridiculous! What about testing the tyres on kerbs, Matt? Well, I'm glad you asked. 260 kilometres an hour! Imagine hitting a kerb at 260 kilometres an hour. That's gonna hurt. What about temperature testing? 150 degrees is what the tread pattern is exposed to. These poor tyres get abused. Text 80101 to donate £5 per month to stop the tyre testing abuse. What else would you like to see next on F101? Let us know in the comments section below.